Hey guys, it's me with Thais. How are you doing today? So today I'm going to be continuing to watch Morset and David Foster's collaboration. And this time Morset is going to be doing Never Enough from The Greatest Showman, one of her best covers. I looked it up, okay, David Foster did not write the song he, or like produce it or anything, but this is, they're just doing the song together, probably because he knows that she can do it very well. Without further ado, let us watch this masterpiece. Here we go. Is a real she's becoming a national treasure yes. for the Philippines, and I think that she's gonna <laughs> yes. be a huge star all over the world. I promise you. She's Ooh, welcome. Okay, you know. Morissette. If David Foster is predicting that she's gonna be a huge star all over the world, then he's probably right. <laughs> he would know. Hi. Hello. Whoa. Hello. I am amazing. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, I love it. <laughs> yes. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Should we do the song from uh, The Greatest Showman? Yes. yes. <laughs> and then I'd like yes. you to do uh, one of my songs. If you don't mind. It would be my honor. Great. Thank you. Thank okay. You. All right. And let me just get my earpiece here. <laughs> Maury! Love you! <laughs> So is this concert like David, David Foster's concert and he just brought out special guests? Um, that's what I am thinking. Now, do you think Morissette wants to be an international star? Because some people don't want that. Some people just like being a star in their own region. And some, you know, coming to international stages is a huge mental, like, tax. Like, it is exhausting and it's not easy. So maybe Morissette is happiest being a star where she's at. <laughs> Yes! 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 Not sure what the camera person was trying to film because it has like the tiniest bit of her head in the bottom of the screen and then they cut off the whole head in the top right.
Honestly, I think that was one of, if not the best rendition of that song I've ever heard. I prefer that to the studio recording. That sounded like that could have been a studio recording. Like, that could have been from the movie, but it was live, 100% live. She killed it! I'm just looking through David Foster's discography, and a lot of the songs that he has written, Morissette has absolutely destroyed singing like through the fire. Yes, I have nothing. We just watched her do that song. Stand up for love. Yes, I that is Okay, that song was actually like critically panned. People said it was like just really too cheesy, but I like that song. It's like cheesy in the right way. So David Foster has the hits and he has the power ballads. So, I mean, okay. So Morissette and David Foster have linked up here and now. So will that mean that in the future there will be a collaboration on like a recording? I think that would be great. I mean, if David could get Morissette into the door into Western audiences, the deal will be done. It's just a matter of, I don't know, does Morissette want the entire the West to be to know her or does she want to remain a hidden gem you know because i know regine she did not want to be part of what like the western stage because it like would have really affected her mental health so more so maybe doing something similar like is happy with where she's at she has her fans she has her voice she has her beauty she has it all so maybe she is just happy with what God has given her. But anyways, that is my little tangent on that. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching and I will see you all later. Bye.